everyone, welcome to Anaheim Park Tourists. In today's video, we're giving our overview and review of Midwell Shuttle. We took Midwell Shuttle from LAX to the Disneyland area. This is our overall experience of that trip. Midwell Shuttle is highly rated on TripAdvisor. They currently have five stars at the time of filming this experience video. They're also highly rated on Google reviews and Yelp. All right, let's jump right into it. So we used to live in Northern California and we would always drive ourselves to the parks. So taking any form of shuttle from an airport is all new for us. And because of that, I totally dropped the ball and didn't even think about the shuttle until the day before our flight. So I was kind of in panic mode. I called around to a bunch of different places. Most were already fully booked. I did also call Carmel Shuttle that is recommended by the Disneyland Resort and they never got back to me. I'm assuming because they were also booked, but they didn't even give me a call back or anything to let me know. So at that point, I was super panicking. I had read about the Midwell Shuttle on some of the Disneyland discussion forums and they had good reviews from people that had used them on there. So luckily when I contacted them via text, which is what their website recommended, they got back to me pretty much instantly, said they had availability. They were able to send me a link through the text where I could pay. And then they also gave me a bunch of directions. And the directions were for when we landed at LAX. So basically when you land and you can use your phone again, you would text them right away like, hey, I just landed. And then they give you directions where to go out from your luggage area. And then there's columns all along the airport and their number with a letter and a number. And so they told us like, let us know which one you're standing by. And I'd have to say their communication was really, really great. They kept pretty much in constant contact with us while we were waiting for the shuttle. It was crazy busy at the airport. So many cars, so many people waiting for shuttles and for family members to pick them up. It was very chaotic, so it did take them about 15 minutes to get to us, which I didn't think was bad at all. Now, and they told Crystal, you know, be on the lookout for a blue shuttle, and they gave us a shuttle bus number. And when we saw that blue shuttle pull in, uh, I stuck my hand up and waved to them. They pulled right in front of us. Uh, two gentlemen popped out of the shuttle. There have to be two people working in there at this time and they grabbed our luggage, opened the door for us to get in the shuttle, and they were warm and friendly. They offered us water as a hot day when we were there, and it was an overall good experience. They drove safely. Uh, we were expecting heavy traffic uh, from the LA area to Anaheim. Magically, there was no traffic, and so it took us about 45 minutes from the airport to our hotel. When we arrived at the hotel, they dropped us off right in front of reception, unloaded our luggage and wished us a really good stay. But during that trip, they also were giving us pointers on Disneyland, uh, telling us all about the Southern California area. They were really good uh, guides for the area. We really enjoyed uh, our trip there. Yeah, definitely. It was not an awkward shuttle ride. It was very welcoming and we enjoyed talking with the driver and his helper as well. The reason we decided to go with a shuttle was because we know a lot of times if you use Uber or Lyft, they can have the surge pricing from the airport and we just didn't want to, one, pay that fee and also at LAX to be able to take an Uber and Lyft, you can't just leave your gate area and catch an Uber and Lyft. You have to take a shuttle to a special area for pickup and drop offs with Uber. And we just didn't want to hassle with that shuttle with the kids and- Luggage it, and yeah, everything. Yeah, we and just it, didn't want to fuss We with just that. wanted airport pickup, <laughs> airport terminal pickup. Exactly. When we take trips to Disneyland, we tend to use different services and different hotels just because of our channel. So on the return trip, we ended up taking a flat rate taxi from the Grand Californian. And that taxi uh, was $150 plus tip. So it was actually more money. The service, the uh, taxi driver was actually quite a riot. We were laughing the whole way to LAX, but the difference was the quality of vehicle. Uh, we were in a much nicer vehicle with Midwell shuttle. It was a better price points. Overall, we would probably lean towards taking the shuttle in the future over a taxi. Now, communication is big with Midwell. Uh, we were in constant communication with them. Big gotchas for international tourists. Uh, we know that trans-Pacific or transatlantic flight, you may or may not have internet service. And we would recommend that you actually communicate that to Midwell that there may be periods of time where I will not have internet access and I may not be able to communicate uh, because we have read on other shuttle service reviews Views, that particular shuttle service decided to cancel because there was a lack of communication. 
and we encourage you to reach out to Midwell Shuttle. What is their preferred method of communication for international travelers? We have read that they use WhatsApp in their reviews, but double check with them directly on that. Pricing for us when we took Midwell Shuttle for four people in their shuttle from LAX to the Disneyland Resort area was $120 for one way. And we also tipped the driver and his helper cash when we arrived at our destination. If you have used Midwell Shuttle or any other shuttle company from LAX to the Disneyland Resort area, please let us know down below. We're always looking for new options on our next trip. If you're looking for a hotel video, please click the link here. Thank you so much for watching.